Okay, welcome back for part two of the tutorial on panoramics. Uh, it was in part one we made the cape and the knife, and now I will show you how to make his body. Uh, I already made one arm and one leg. I'm going to show you how to make the other one, and you will have to pause the video to make a second. Um, we will start with his arm, and for that we will need to uh, take two white bands at a time. Or loom is in the offset position, by the way. But take two white bands and on the middle row, and we will come down uh, six times in total. So that's two. I'm just gonna make the middle row three, four, five, and six times. So that's like a sleeve. Um, then I'm gonna take my skin tone bands and I'm gonna grab one band, double loop it. All my skin tone bands will be double looped and I'm coming down once. That's his wrist. Now we're gonna make his thumb and his little hand. So what I'm gonna do um, first is make his hand and for that I'm coming down once more just like that, and I'm going to do the two diagonals now. So like that. Uh, and I'm going to close off the diamond shape for his hand. Now I'm going to make a band here, which is going to be his thumb. So this is all um, skin tone, one band coming down, a di um, little diamond for his hand and a band for his thumb. What we need to do now is cap off these two packs, both with four loops, but first I'm going to place one holding band right here on these two packs and that one is going to be double looped as well. So I'm a double loop band, a holding band and I'm going to take a single and cap off four times. His thumb first and okay. So now we capped off, and I'm gonna loop up both of the sides of his hand first, and then his thumb, and then we can loop up the whole arm. I'm going to start right here, go through my cap band and grab the top two bands that I have to loop. And loop it back onto itself. Just like that, creating two teardrops. And the other side of his hand as well. Now this one can be a little bit tight because there's a lot of double loop bands on top but we should be fine, just create a bit of space and release the tension if you have to. There we go. It's going to release some more tension. Make sure it doesn't break. That's what you should have, his hand, his thumb and his little wrist looped up and now we just can loop up the sleeve. Let's grab the bands and place them back on itself. Mm. Here we go. And now we are ready to take it off and I'm going to place it on my holding hook with my other hand. Just be careful, at the, especially at the bottom, there's a lot of double loop bands there and they can be tight and they break um, more easily than the, the loose bands of the arm. You can just pull off like this. And place it on our hook. Alright, oh, oh so now you should pause the video and rewind to make a second one. You don't really have to mirror it, we can just bend it 
uh, the way we want later, but if you can do, you could mirror it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and what we are going to do now is make his foot. Again, you need to lay him in the offset position, and we're going to start with one skin tone band and double loop here on the middle. It's just going to be a small part of his leg that's visible. And for the rest I'm going to use my light blues. I'm going to use a slightly darker blue this time than I did last time, but his shoes have, are light blue. Um, and all these bands will be double lipped. Uh, first of all I'm going to go down two more times in the middle. Okay. So this is what you should have, one skin and two light blue bands coming down, all of them double lipped. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come to both sides. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to come down three times on each side. Double loop your bands. Just like that. So that's three times on this side and the other side as well. Cup your bands, double loop them. And now I'm going to come in again towards the middle. Uh, now all we have to do is place some holding bands and a capping band. I'm going to start with my holding bands. They're going to place, be placed like this. The top three will be double bands and this one will be triple to make him his feet a bit pointier. So what I'm doing is grab a double lip band, place it right there, another double lip. And another one. And now for the triple looped, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one double loop band right on top. Uh, and then I go in, I need to grab one of the loops, just like that. You can do it with your fingers or with your hook, just what you prefer. I'm going to stretch it back. If you can't do a triple loop, you could also make like an extra loop on each back or just leave it double looped. Um, it's just a small detail to get it slightly pointier, but it's not that necessary. Anyway, I'm going to cap off with four loops. So, one, two, three, and four. So what we have is our foot, our holding band and our capping band and now we can loom up. Uh, loom, don't forget to do like one side and then the other side and you know, stop here and do start here when you have done both sides. Don't forget that and just start looming. So I'm gonna go in right there, grab the top two and loom it onto itself. I'm gonna do uh, both ends and you actually first. Alright, um, this one can be a bit tricky because you have to loop through the triple looped holding band. Um, it's like really really tight, you have to try and release some tension by, for instance, using your hook or something. Uh, but Normally you should be all able to do this, just releasing some tension, wiggling them through. I'm going to go through it like this as well. It always releases most of the tension and all the rest should be fine. They're just double loop bands and that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. 
last side. And now I did both sides. So now I can loop up the middle part. His leg. This one this one actually will be his ankle, that's where we want to bend him. But his shoes have kind of a bit of a um are, are go quite high up on his sh uh, shin, so we want to, to have a little bit of extra blue. Anyway, I'm gonna take it off and place it on a holding hook. I'm actually gonna start at the bottom by taking it off. I think that will, will work better. Here we go. I'm using my hook for most of it because it's quite tight and I don't want my bands to break. And I'll grab my holding hook and place it right on there. So now I got his two feet. I actually want to bend them later, but I'm going to do it when my body is ready. First, uh, I'm actually going to make his body. And his body is fully white. So grab your white bands. Um, all of his body will be two bands at a time. And um, let me see. Yeah, we did that. Okay. Um... Uh, actually, I'm going to start with his neck. I'm going to make his uh, neck first because that that will be your transfer band. And I think this was two or three bands. Two bands. Yeah, that's enough. So grab two skin color bands and place them on the top. That will be his neck for later. And then just grab two white bands at a time. I'm going to make the diagonals first just like that and then I'm gonna come down I think it was eight times yeah eight times with two bands on each side so one two three four Seven, eight, and on the other side as well. Still two bands at a time. Now I want to do um, the middle row and we're going to come down eight times as well to this back so that we can uh, make a diagonal like that upwards. Okay. Place the diagonals right here. I hope you can see it because, of course, it's white, but it's just three rows of eight and the diagonals coming in. Now, on the bottom two right here, I'm going to attach the feet, and on the top two pegs right here on his shoulders, I'm going to attach his arms. I'm going to start with his arms. And I want them um, on both sides to have his thumbs pointing up up or outside, but not like one going in one going out because then you have two right or two left arms, so both up, both down, or both outwards or both inwards. Um, otherwise you have two same direction arms. So this way I'm gonna place that one here and as you can see it's pointing out of my body, so I want that to be done at this side as well, uh, which means I have to attach it like this. It would be very unhandy if Panoramics had two left hands, so let's give him a right and a left hand, like that. Okay, and now his feet are sat on the bottom 
packs for everybody and pull them down. If they are already bending in a certain direction, make sure they bend towards the same direction, both. But otherwise, we just bend them later. So that's that. Uh, we will add his cape while we are looming here. So that will be at the end. Uh, but what we have to do before we start looming is place some holding bands. And uh, his bottom is a bit smaller than his middle and his top here will be a bit smaller as well so we're going to try and do that with our holding bands um, the bottom holding band will be double looped the bottom holding band will be around these three packs so double loop that one and then what we will get is a half double that means uh, I'm gonna double back on only two packs so what I did, I uh, placed my single band here and looped back on these two packs. And then I'm going to place two single holding bands, so just a band and a triangle shape. So a double, half doubled, two singles. And then I'm going to do two more half doubled and the top one will be doubled. So another half double. And a half yeah. and a double band. I'm just going to double. Okay, just like that. Now you can loom up. You can loom up the whole middle row and loom up until his shoulder packs on the side so what, wait with these two because that's where we have to add the cape later on I'm gonna start within his feet grab the top two bands, those are the ones that go to the middle if you place them in the same order as I did and on this side as well And I'm just going to start by looming the whole middle row. Like that. the whole middle row and I'm going to start with just one of the sides now and I will stop once I've loomed on top of his arm, his shoulder pack. Just go in, grab both bands. Make sure you don't just grab one but make, grab both bands. You quite easily see when you've got one because then you only have one teardrop and the other one still staying straight. You should have all teardrops. This is where I stop on his shoulder pack and now I'm going to do the other side. I really hope you can see him in white and understand what I'm doing. If not, just leave a comment and I, uh, I will make his body piece uh, in a different color and place a tutorial of it on YouTube, but I think you should be okay. All right. Again, onto his shoulder pack. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cape onto my hook, just like that. And it it's quite easy to see but we've got two two loops here and two loops on that side on each side I want to add two loops and the way I want to add it is like this I'm gonna go go in and grab the two bands that I have to loop on there 
and I'm just gonna slide two of my cape bands on top of it and then loop them. And then you have uh, attached like that on the band. So again on this side I have my bands of my cape on my hook. I'm gonna go in and grab the bottom two bands, the bands that go towards his neck. Um, they stay on my hook but I'm gonna slide the two uh, red bands of my cape off. I'm gonna grab my cape forward actually and then um, I'll place them right here. Now I can grab my cape and fold it downwards like this so it won't be in the way because what we have to do last is loop up his neck. Those are two bands, two skin color bands. I'm grabbing a white one with it. And here we go. I just grab one. But okay. There we go. So now we have made his full body and we can take him off. And I'm going to place this end on a holding pin or a holding hook or a toothpick or whatever you prefer to use as a holding hook. most of it with your fingers. Just make sure um, you don't break any bands but I think you should be okay as most of it is a single band. Alright now I actually want my cape to be on the other side because my feet are already bending to one side. Of course I want my feet pointing front. I um, don't like them bending that way but I'll Okay, what are we going to do now is attach his belt. I'm going to grab one um, green band, place it around. You can have your belt, and belt like this, you can have two bands like this, or you can double loop it and make his belt a bit tighter. I'm going to do a double loop band, just like that, and place it a little bit higher on his waist. And I can just grab my knife and stick it right in there like that. And I think he always wears it on his right side, but I'm not sure, just look at a picture of him and you'll know. Um, and I also want my feet to bend at the ankle. I'm going to fix that already. That's the third band we used, the second blue band, the last double loop single. So I'm going to go through the back of my panoramics and there pull on the band, so that way it will like bend right there towards the front here as well and pull so let me see and now we fixed his body and we can continue making his beard uh, and I'm gonna make his beard and his hair features grey this time just see how it turns out because every now and then he they are grey in the comic most of the times they are white um, if you make it white it's a very white <laughs> Figurines. I'm just going to see how it turns out when I do grey. Um, and what I'm going to do is on each of the sides I'm going to come down eight times with a single band. And on the other side as well. So just eight packs down. Great. If you use grey, I would suggest you use a light grey, not a too dark one. But just use the colour of your own choosing. You can design as you go along. Um, and the middle row, I will do 11 bands. So till the um, second one from the bottom. Okay. 
eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now what I'm going to do is make a very long diagonal, so not a regular, not a normal long one, but a very long one to that one. Alright, and to give him a little bit more of a point, I'm going to place one band on the top here as well. And I'm going to cap off right here, just with four loops. We have is eight bands, eleven bands, eight bands, a long diagonal, and another band right here. Now all that's left to do is place some holding bands, um, and we're going to place them on the triangles that we can make up facing upwards. So at the, uh, I think it's the ninth back where the eight where the eight band was on, like the bottom on this side, to there I'm facing upwards. I'm going to place a W band, just like that. And I'm going to continue with two more W bands going upwards. Alright, so three double loop triangles. Then I'm going to do two half double triangles. So just like before, I'm going to uh, place it and loop back on only two of the three packs. So this is double looped and this part is single looped. And another half double. Gonna place it on there as a single and loop back on just two packs. Just like that. And the top three will be single bands. So uh, double, 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 half doubles, half doubles, and three single uh, holding bands. And now all we have to do is loop all the way up and place these three ends on a holding hook. I'm going to do all the three bands towards this end one first because otherwise it's quite likely to kind of fall off. tight right here because of um, that very long diagonal. I'm going to actually take a part off because I already loomed it and otherwise I'm just stretching my bands. So here we go. Just that part that I loomed can come off now. And then I'm going to just loom up one row at a time. Make sure on each each time you go through the holding bands and grab just the bottom bands. Right, that's one side done. Gonna do the middle now.
the last one. Just and another row going in there, grabbing the bottom band. And now I limbed everything so I can take it off except for the top three packs because those bands or uh, I want to place on a holding hook. Uh, for storage so I can use it later and it will not fall apart. And the beard will be quite pointy which is good. That's the way we want it. Because Panoramics has a long and slightly pointy beard. But most of all very long. Alright. And I'm gonna go and grab a holding hook and just place these right on to that hook. Just like that. And here we go, we have his little beard, or his, actually his very big beard. These bands are a little less stretchy, so it looks bigger, but it's exactly the same one. Um, and now I'm gonna pause the video, and in part 3 of the tutorial I will show you how to make his hair, at the back his uh, bulky nose, and his moustache, and then we will fix the rest of his hat. So just go ahead and feel part three.